actually want to look at this again and really slow it down. And take a good look. I don't think I'm completely, just looking at this trailer and looking at the character, I don't think I'm completely sold on DJ. His design is much better, but man, it is just DJ. He didn't turn into Punish DJ or anything crazy different, right? His pretty much tried and true is DJ. And Steve had a good point where they, they changed the fact that he's not always smiling in every single stage, every single screenshot. This goofy shit looks like so much fun. Now, Marissa, though, Jesus, dude, <laughs> this shit. I thought, I thought in screenshot form, like in that basic character design stuff, this girl looks hella weird, but I think like in motion, it comes through. And Manon definitely did not end up being female able. Definitely not. Finding an appropriate vessel for this power. Showtime, baby! Prepare. Fight with all your heart! And honor. Her hair is not Magneto chat, it's like a gladiator's helmet, you know? Right, you get it? That's why that's there. Right, you get it? I mean, granted, it's Magneto's fucking helmet. Right, I get it. Uh... I think she looks fucking good. I think, I I, I think Mar Marissa already is like the best immediate character design, striking character design. You know. I think JP also looks really goddamn good. Like the way, it, the, the nicest part about this is that the way every single one of these characters moves is so different from one another. Like, just their animation style per character is so dramatically different. Jesus Christ, man. Jesus Christ, wow. Gotta give up the Capcom animators, man. They are really... They are really going in on some of the, the visual identity of their characters, even the new characters. I want that, I want that screenshot. Hold on a second. Good, very good. Yeah, man. Like, holy shit. Uh, uh, I'm I'm actually just really impressed that the the more characters we get into the game, uh, the the better and better it's kind of just looking, you know. So expressive. Jesus Christ. Your guts, like, explode and shit. My face is covering it. I'm sorry. Yeah, man, I don't know. I, I think it's like DJ is like the classic returning character. And I feel like he might just be the one that I'm maybe the least excited about. It's weird that the, the roster of Street Fighter VI at launch has so many new characters, right? There's actually a... A very healthy chunk of this game is dedicated to new to new roster members, but they look so good though. I think I'm kind of freaked out by Manon a little bit. She's got like extra big feet and she's like extra lanky and extra dancey. You know, she's like the literal damn little damn literal polar opposite of uh, of Marissa. You know. I think there's so much goddamn power behind everything Marissa does that it's so fucking sick, dude.
Holy shit. Boom. Fuck. Ugh. Boom. Jesus. I want to, you know what? I'm going to say it right now. Of all the characters that they have shown in this trailer, I felt that na naturally I probably would have wanted to play JP. Like JP would have been my go-to in, in any other situation. The problem is Marissa's in this trailer. <laughs> Fuck, man. Holy god damn. The problem is Marissa's in this trailer and she's a juggernaut character. And it was funny. It was like, uh, they're, they're going to have like a super beefcake girl, like absolutely massive, giant female juggernaut character. I don't know if that's going to look cool. Like I really... I don't know how they're going to visually like make that look cool and how it's going <laughs> to wow. And they fucking nail it. Yeah, she's like Broly. Dang it, man. She's my Street Fighter 6 Broly. You're completely right. She kind of is too, which is funny. She really is. I think from this trailer, I am probably uh, the most fascinated with playing Marissa number one, uh, probably JP number two, and then Man, and then DJ. An honor to be sure. But I think I'm also very curious, like how things will play out as things are described, like characters build up and get modified moves and all characters have crazy gimmicks now every single character has crazy gimmicks and that's like what makes street fighter 6 interesting characters have more mechanical depth than they've ever had oh let's look at the other trailer hold on a second um this one has even more gameplay yeah, supper scene. Yeah, look at this, dude. What the hell? DJ actually has like a fake sobat or whatever the heck it's called. That is cheap. You can't have a Sonic Boom character with a fake Sonic Boom. Oh, that's cheap, dude. That is... Oh, man. He has a fake boom. Wow. Whoa, Jesus. Down HP? Gotta be. Let's see what Manon does here. Oh, we actually get some cool V-Skill shit. What the hell is that normal? She's just slapping the shit out of you in all of her normals. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Manon is definitely a dancer, that's for sure. That's, that's definitely coming through. Can't wait to play this game again. Like a few days. This is just typical stuff I think we've seen before. Wow. I didn't realize that she does like the Vogue pose. Right? She literally does like the Madonna Vogue pose in the end. <laughs> wow. I did not even realize that shit. She gets like, oh, it's the JoJo pose. Madonna stole it from JoJo. That is true. It's the JoJo pose now. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to the, uh, the website. Hang on a second. So fucking Marissa looks so fucking cool. I mean, how many fighting games have had, like, an absolutely fucking jacked female character? Right? How many... How many fighting games have had, essentially, like, Snoo Snoo Incarnate? Oh, that one girl from Tobal, you're right. You're right. Pun and Project L does have one. It seems like it is a... It seems like it's a, it's a character archetype that's starting to, like, get filled out a little bit. Kefla? Yeah, but Kefla's not, like, ex super jacked. Right? 
Darley. I'd say Darley is like nice and buff, but not like not like nine feet tall type shit. Fight with all your heart. Jesus, dude. Up and coming an up and coming jewelry designer who claims ancestry to ancient Greek warriors. She's a jewelry designer. As a child, she was inspired by the visions of the Colosseum and its prime. She seeks glory with a smile. I think she, people are people are like I said earlier have already found some interesting um, similarities, not not visually, but like gameplay wise, to Gil and Yurian, which those characters already, obviously, you know, are taking from this kind of stuff. Chariot riding bastards, six foot eight. Yeah, no kidding. Her her skin turns to gold, dude. When when she does certain attacks. Literally turns to gold. She's got the Arian, yeah, she has like the toe tap, she's got the chop. She has like some of those normals. I think she's 100% like the craziest, coolest looking, one of the most powerful characters. To me, it's like, you get this or Abigail and fuck Abigail, fuck that guy. Like Abigail, these, these are effectively very similar characters where Abigail's like a big lumbering giant muscle guy, but is not a grappler, right? And that's the difference. You can't have like it be a Hugo. No, they're not grapplers. She is not a grappler. She's a bruiser. So this is so much better. And I mean, and yeah, Mammon might be a bit more closer to an Alex type where she seems to be relatively command grab focused. Seems to be. Man is an idealist, forever seeking self-improvement, pursuit of beauty, she the catwalk. She's, she's a, uh, she does judo. She's a judo dancer. Judo dancer model. She has three things. She's a whole bunch. The judo dancer model. I think the thing that's throwing me off is how pale she is. She's extremely pale in some of these shots. And that's very straight. Right? That is very straight. <laughs> Extremely straight. And it would be because you're a dancer and you got big ass feet! Uh... Cool. I think she's really captivating. She's interesting looking. Uh... I don't know if I'm completely sold on it all. But I see where they're going with it. And once again... Dancer. Judo champion. Model. <laughs> like, there's a lot of things going on in there. Then we got JP. Who is now the, uh, taking the spot of the gentlemanly, like, Regal character, which we first got technically with Eagle in Street Fighter 1. And then we got Dudley a bit later, right? Yeah, the elegant regality of some characters uh, that have been in Street Fighter before, and JP's the sort of new one of that. I wouldn't say that there was an element of regality to, um, to G. I don't think he really... He could have something to do with G, but I, I don't feel like G was about regality. No, that was a bit different. A bit different of a character kind of play style, you know? International NGO responsible for many successful investment projects and the man behind Nashal's present prosperity has a beloved cat named Cybele. Cybele? Uh, all these things mean nothing. Like, <laughs> what? What? NGO? Uh, Nashal's present prosperity? What the hell is going on? I think JP's supposed to be Russian as well. Yeah, there's definitely some... visual throwbacks to Gil going on in here, right? Maybe it's just me. Maybe like the, the obvious like red on blue type stuff. Could be like a Nepal stage sort of thing. This looks like Nepal. There's some very Nepal iconic iconography here. And the fact that he fights with a cane. The fact that he beats your ass with a pimp cane. Interesting. He does he does actually fight with a weapon. Is that Mount Everest in the back, really? Oh, it kind of probably is. Actually, no, it's got all the, the Nepal like flags and stuff like that, yeah, for sure. He looks generic. I think having a bright orange suit is not generic is not the term I would have used. Eccentric is the term I would use. He looks eccentric. You know, in the same way that G was also an eccentric character in some way. He could be a mid-boss? No, this guy's the last boss. Every hint that we got from before was that he's last boss-like. 
right? The tender Santa Claus. Thank you, chat. Yeah, I feel between all these characters, still Marissa number one, JP number two, Manon number three, DJ number four. Yeah. And it's crazy how much this roster is filled out. One, two, three, 12, 13, 14, 15 characters, meaning that the next reveal uh, is probably going to be three more. We usually get four per chunk, right? And, and, and the amount of time we get, we get like four solid character reveals every few months. But the next one is not four, and we already kind of know that. It's it's three. We got Lily, which is potentially a descendant of T-Hawk in some way. We got Cammy, which has been literally teased since June, and we saw in... We actually saw her in like very low resolution screenshots in the very early, you know, revealed footage of the game outside of the leak stuff. And then we have Geef, which we've seen so little on. It's funny is that I think everybody is sort of waiting for Cammy and Geef. What are they going to look like with all these like crazy high, crazy high fidelity graphics, right? Characters are rendered in a way that make them look way more detailed. Like they're not, it's not realistic. Don't get me wrong. This is not realistic. The characters are rendered in a way that is so much more detailed than they ever have before. So every character gets these crazy muscle things. Uh, 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 visuals on like muscle detail are are crazy in this game. So how is Geef is like the character to demonstrate that, you know? And now we have Marissa to sort of give us an example of like how good it looks. And yeah, man, some of the some of the muscle definition on some of these characters looks amazing. Looks incredibly cool. Like Jesus, dude. I want to watch the trailer again. Shit.